Here are 10 more Apple Arcade games with massive updates. It's time to journey back to the center of the Earth in Little Orpheus. A new game mode has been released, The Lost Recordings. This update brings you a unique new game plus option. After you finish a chapter, you can go back and continually play through it in order to hunt for secrets and collectibles. In fact, the game now has hidden orbs scattered throughout the world and 100 collectibles to find. Players can also unlock never before seen making of content and crazy new costumes. I've been wondering when Guildlings would receive a story update and finally it's here. This massive expansion will complete the current story arc and it expands the world. So you can explore many new locations such as the mysterious walled garden of Lawnhenge and you can go back to previous areas discovering new side quests and secrets. That's not all, you can create a unique team of three guildlings and make unique discoveries with different combinations. I don't see enough people talk about this RPG, it's fantastic from its art style, dialogue and music. Party Updates is here in Super Mega Mini Party. This update is for the most part all about making connecting to online players easier. For example, players can now join your party or world using the new invite button and you can now find any available parties in Super Mega Mini World from the home screen using the random party button. Nice. This update has brought Ice Cream Man, a new unlockable character, and five new micro games, Tennis 3000, Treasure Bomber, Robot Rampage, Top Speed Racer, and Tic-Tac-Toe. A T-Rex is here in LEGO Brawls. You see Jurassic World has arrived in LEGO Brawls latest update. Now we have a new level, Isla Nublar, the fictional Central American island in the Jurassic Park franchise. You can also team up with Tyrannosaurus Rex or Indominus Rex, use Dino Power Ups and unlock Owen Grady, a new champion, and rare Jurassic World minifigs. Music mode is now available in Rayman Mini. How does this mode work exactly? Each level has four difficulty settings that all gradually unlock. You must follow to the rhythm of each song by jumping and punching at the right time. The goal is to score the most points. Finishing the music levels will then unlock the next difficulty level. If you collect all the lums, you will earn medals, cups, and gems. Limited time events have been added to Battle Royale. I've missed the previous events, I'm sorry, I'm kind of late to this video, but the next event is Night of the Living Bread, which is going from the 23rd to the 25th of October, and then the 28th to the 31st of October. In this event, players will use their melees to knock out opponents in an all new spooky butterfield. Furthermore, a new nom, the Hot Sauce Squirty, has been added. This nom allows you to drench your opponents in a rush of hot sauce. Chapter 2 of Tales of Memo is out. A purple wisp has unleashed new monsters throughout 40 plus original levels with brand new mechanics and a new power in new lands with enticing music. We also have a new challenge mode to unlock two new side worlds. This is a highly underrated casual puzzle game on Apple Arcade. Please give it a go if you haven't already. Finally, a new update for Skate City is here. A new level has been added, Miami. This city is beautiful, especially at night with all the bright, colorful lighting. Miami also brings 30 new endless skate goals and 21 new challenges. Yes, it's a small update, but very welcome nonetheless. I've said it before and I'm saying it again, this is the best skating game that I've played on mobile. It's perfectly tailored towards the touchscreen. Plus, it's great on Mac or Apple TV with the controller actually. It's time to jump back into hot lava. The best feature of this new update is the AR mode, which is only available on iPad Pro 4th Gen. The LiDAR scanner on the new iPad Pro 
can transform your living room into a lava-filled obstacle course. This technology pretty much allows the game to interact with the real world like never before. You can place objects in the real world so you can climb your walls, jump on your furniture and dodge molten lava. It's really fun. A new evil character has been added too and you can level up your character now and matchmaking has been added for nearby players. The Games of Olympus is out for cricket through the ages. For historical accuracy, the developer has included more sports. We're talking climbing, swimming, high jump, canoeing, hurdles, equestrian, archery, and many more, each with unique gameplay and a focus on cooperative play. I'd say if you enjoy What the Golf, this game is kind of similar. It's just wacky fun and I love it. Here are some bonus games. Spaceland now has four new daily missions. You can find them at the Mercenaries Guild base. Chapter 7 is out now in Murder Mystery Machine, which is an interactive mystery game. Embark on a treasure hunt through Bikini Bottom in SpongeBob Patty Pursuit. Dash through six new levels, tag in SpongeBob friends, and gather treasure map pieces to fix the Krusty Krab. The mega update has dropped for Marble Atop Mayhem. We have over 70 new cosmetics, bounce surface feature, 28 new and 22 updated campaign levels, two new multiplayer levels, and new King of the Hill and Dispatch multiplayer modes. What Apple Arcade updates have you enjoyed from this list? Let me know in the comments. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. I'm terrible at promoting this platform. I just use this so that we can hopefully bring you more high quality content. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, please drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future Apple Arcade videos. Anyway, my name is Stewie and thanks for watching.